You were born to be a free and powerful creator. So many of us are doubting our abilities to create, but you weren't born with those limitations. Those limitations were taught to you over time. When you were born, when you were, you came here as spirit coming through and manifesting itself on this earth into this body, you came here and you didn't get wrapped up into the feelings and the thoughts of things or whether you could have or you couldn't have what it is that you wanted. You just came here and you had none of that. You just knew that you could create what it is that you wanted. You knew that if you were to cry and you would receive what it is that you were looking for. You expected it. You had that expectation and therefore what you wanted just simply came to you. You weren't wrapped up into, oh, I wonder if I could have this milk that I need. I'm hungry. I want this. Oh, but that costs money. I guess I need to think about this. You weren't thinking that. You didn't have any, you came here with a clean slate. You didn't have any limitations whatsoever. Those limitations that you're experiencing now, they aren't real. They were taught to you. So some of you are walking around carrying ideas, thoughts, baggage, limitations that don't even belong to you. They belong to someone else. They are someone else's thoughts. They are someone else's opinions. They are someone else's values and morals and expectations. And you are carrying them that like they are your baggage. Some of you would feel so much lighter, so much more free if you just allowed yourself to let go of the bags that were never meant to yours, meant for you to carry in the first place. They were never yours. It is so, I am just so tired of seeing people not tap into their ultimate truth that you could have whatever it is that you want into this world, whatever it is. There is no limit placed upon you. Why is it that some people are come here and are able to create beyond the scope of what is normal or necessary in this world and others are able to create nothing? It's because of what they think they could have. When you see someone who does things, they break records, they break, they break all standards. They they perform at such a high level. They receive the they get so their the amount of success that they achieve. It's not even a standard. They break the standard. Why are some people able to do that and some people aren't? And it's because of their beliefs. They smash those beliefs. They say, "Why can't I? Why can't I?" I can have whatever I want. Just because it hasn't been written yet doesn't mean that I can't write this new rule. Just because someone hasn't doesn't done it as of yet doesn't mean that I can't. They decide, they decide what's available to them instead of settling for what the world has taught them is available to them. And therefore what they are able to manifest exceeds all expectations and rules. Because here's the thing, we all have source God ultimate higher power within us. We are made in the image of God. If we are going to go on that logic, if we are going to go into what has been written for us, we are made in the image of God. God is not limited, therefore you are not limited. Therefore you are a creator. God is the ultimate creator, therefore you are the ultimate creator because we were ultimately made in their image. But we also have free will. God cannot bypass your free will. So therefore, although that power exists within you, you have to decide that you're willing to access it. You have to decide that you are going to utilize it. You have to decide that you are going to use it for the greatest good. We are built with that power. We were made with that power to do good things. God wants you to be abundant. It has always been meant for you to live an abundant and wonderful and magical and easeful life. It was never meant to be hard. But people, somebody one day decided that life is hard. They came up with that idea. They came up with that idea. They created a paradigm around it that life is hard, that you had to struggle. And we believed them. Why are you believing them? Do you want that reality? Do you want that for yourself or do you want more? Because more is available and it is not the truth. It is not the truth. You see people every freaking day. Do you think that the, like life is hard for them? And it was, it's so hard for this money to keep coming to them or their desires, or does it seem like it's actually not that hard? Now, am I saying there's no duality to this? There's always duality and duality means that you're going to hold a certain amount of discomfort 
as much as you're gonna hold the comfort, right? Like you, and I think that's necessary. You, we should, why are we so resistant to duality? Duality allows you to expand yourself, to grow, to evolve, to be able to hold the desire that you said that you wanted. You don't need to be afraid of it. That, un that uncomfortable feeling that you have as you're shifting and you're, you're changing on a cellular level isn't bad. It is giving, you your power is growing, your power is expanding, your power is evolving. Therefore, you could hold the thing that you asked for. And we all want different things. There's ne it's never going to run out. It's never going to run out. But so many people are looking at life in this lens like things are limited. Like time is limited. That money is limited. That love is limited. And they made up these rules in these concepts and they live, like I said, it's not the truth, it's just a paradigm. And as we break free from those paradigms, those rules, those expectations, that conditionings and those thoughts that are holding us back from our manifestations and our desires, as we break free from that, we realize that we can create a new paradigm or enter into a new paradigm that already exists and is available to us. And here's the thing, if you can think it, then it's meant for you. If you can think it, then it's real. If you can think it, then it's possible for you. But you're so afraid to actually allow yourself to feel into that possibility and let alone allow yourself to, to feel into the potentiality and what exists on this world. And possibility is, oh, that's possible. Potentiality is like, I, I have no idea how i have no clue i have i just know that i want it wanting it is enough you don't have wanting it itself is enough wanting it will bring you to the frequency to create whatever it is that you want in this world but you have to allow yourself to want it you have to allow yourself to tap into that feeling of it that pure feeling of desire that pure feeling that fuels you, it actually gives you energy and it bubbles up within your soul and it creates a power and a flame within you that will be, it, it won't be able to be extinguished if you don't allow it to. What feels better to believe? That's the question I really wanna ask you. What feels better to believe? that you are powerless in this world and you don't have the power to create the existence that you really want? Or does it feel better to know that you can? That all everything that you need right now was already within you, it was in you from the day that you were born and you don't have to do anything to be enough. You don't have to do anything else to make yourself ready for it. You don't have to do anything else to prepare. You don't have to do anything else because you were born ready. Who you are is enough. You, the you that was born through that body, the you that was birthed through the canal of a woman was born worthy. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. You are the same child that was born with pure potentiality running through their veins, pure power, the power and life force energy of source God himself exist within you nothing's changed nothing's changed so if you were to just access one small percentage of that power there is no limit to what you could create on this earth but so many people are scared they're running around wounded they're running around damaged they're running around Believing the lies that someone else is telling them that make them feel bad, that make them feel unworthy, that make them feel not capable. And therefore, they're not empowered, they are disempowered. And they're not getting what they want. Let me ask you something. Is that way of being working for you? Is it working? Because there is someone out there that's believing in their potentiality and they're getting everything. 
there's someone out there that's allowing themselves to feel good no matter what. And the world tells you that being selfish is a bad thing. It is not. Be more selfish. Be more selfish. Love yourself fiercely. Love yourself fiercely. Take care of yourself fiercely. Think of yourself more often. Think about your divine alignment more often. Think about what you were sent here to do. Think about who you were sent here to be. Think about what your soul actually wants. Tap into your divine power. Align to your divine power that lies within you. When you align yourself to the power of source and the power of God, you can create change in this world that is unimaginable. You can, If everyone were to tap in that divine power and alignment, there would be no problems. There would be no sickness. There would be no struggle. There would be no dis-ease. Did you know that the word disease actually when broken up is dis-ease? It's a non-allowance of feeling good. It's a non-allowance of wellness. It's a non-allowance of, of really being grounded in your life force energy. You are a creator. You are a creator. So start creating the world as you would like it to be. Start creating your world as you would like it to be. Not how others have told you it has to be.